All right, next we're going to talk about painting surfaces. I'm going to show you an assortment of different things we have here. Um, each of them has a different feature and benefit, and uh, there's a lot of options, so stick with me. Um, for getting started, uh, we have a line of canvases called Paramount and Paramount Pro. This is a great canvas to use uh, for all ends of the spectrum, whether you're uh, just trying to do some practice work or you know, up until selling in the galleries. The uh, Paramount and Paramount Pro are uh, extremely good quality uh, acrylic primed cotton canvases. Um, they're all pre-stretched, have a paintable edge and all that good stuff. Um, right here you see an example of a um, one and a half inch, this is a gallery wrap canvas. And uh, right here, this canvas, although it's not a Paramount, this is a three quarter inch. So that's the difference when I say um, you know, uh, standard width or, you know, wide width. Um, these little beauties are uh, a really, really cool tool to have. Um, some people might use them just for practicing, but uh, there are other applications for these that uh, are very useful, um, especially uh, if you're trying to sell your artwork. Um, a lot of galleries you'll go into seem to have artwork all at a certain price point. And uh, there might be a lot of people that come into the gallery that really like your artwork that just simply can't afford one of your bigger pieces. Offering art at different price points and different sizes really helps establish a, a name for yourself and definitely getting your art into more people's hands. Um, so these little minis are a great option. There's also artist trading cards and uh, all the alike. Um, another type of painting surface besides a stretched canvas is a canvas panel. Um, Canvas panels are, well, just like they sound like, a uh, canvas stretch over a, a piece of wood or a piece of uh, hardboard. Um, it's a really great option if you're going plein air, you want to take a lot and stack them. Uh, it gives you a nice rigid surface. It doesn't have any give where a, a canvas might have a little bit of give. Uh, so if you like that firmer painting surface, it's a good option. Um, over here, I, I showed you this earlier. Um, you might notice that this canvas is a different color. Uh, this is a uh, clear prime linen. Now, all these canvases I showed you here before are cotton. Uh, cotton is uh, a very commonly used uh, material for making canvas. Linen, however, is known as the higher grade, more archival version. Um, one of the main reasons for this is, is that a cotton fiber might be only uh, yay big, where a um, linen fiber is much longer, and it holds a tighter weave, and it's uh, more structurally sound. Um, also, uh, when it comes to linen, it has a really rich color. Uh, cotton tends to uh, come very light, very pale. This linen color, um, giving it a, a clear uh, priming, lets you see that linen color through. So if you're doing portraiture work or an area where you might want to just have that rich canvas showing through, this is a really great option. Um, the absolute best thing, though, for oil painting, uh, if I was to recommend the, the best thing you can be using in terms of getting the best quality and uh, using what's really designed for oil paint is an oil primed canvas, especially oil primed linen. Um, acrylic primer works fine for oils. You can paint oils on top of acrylics, but never acrylics on top of oils. I still don't understand that, but it's the rule. Um, the reason that an oil primed canvas works better for oil painting is because acrylic primer is absorbent. That means that if I was to take a color and put it down, an oil color, and put it down on an acrylic primer, slowly but surely, that color is going to be pulled in and absorbed into the gesso that's already on the canvas. Oil priming stops this from happening. It makes the color sit on the surface, so you never lose brilliance, you never lose that luminosity. Um, we have a couple of different options when it comes to oil prime linen. We have our Raphael's, we're going to have um, Centurion oil prime canvases, and we also uh, have these um, Charvin handmade canvases. Now these canvases are really special, really, really nicely made. Um, they're all, uh, all the stretchers and everything is made in France. Um, they have copper tacks instead of staples, which allows it to have a much stronger uh, hold to it. And they're very taut, very strong. Um, and this is all oil primed. So it's a great option if you want to, um, you know, definitely make paintings that are meant to be preserved and won't lose any of that luminosity. Um, but there's uh, lots of different options, obviously. All of it will work. Um, definitely choose what you're most comfortable with and what you think will uh, get you started the easiest.